So we're doing this thing. It's called a normal hunt? I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. For me, it's been so long, I don't even know what it is anymore. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. And we're on Mississippi, so this could be <laughs> this could be really bad. This is not a map that I've historically done well on. However, call it patience, call it luck, whatever it's been as of late. We've actually had some pretty good luck here. So we're going to run around. There's a chance maybe I'll open this map up to multiplayer the second half of the stream. I wanted to do single player for the first bit anyway. But uh, yeah, it should be fun. Quail, gators, whatever we can run into. What's going on, Jay? Isaac's in here as well. Wildwood. What's up, Ben? Ninth hour. Is this is ninth hour? That's a school term, right? That's not what we call it in Mercos, but I'm pretty sure I got you. What's up, JTAC? You're normal? Hi, I'm normal. Uh, this is my least favorite map, so it'll be nice to watch someone else try it. I... I just think it... You gotta hunt it different. And I guess it depends on what your definition of success is on these maps. Like, uh, if you're fine shooting quail and raccoons and stuff all the time, I think it can be a really fun map. I think the difference is, if you want to get big stuff, gators, deer, pigs, bears, you just have to, you gotta hunt different areas than you kind of normally would on another map. Any new map talk, anything like that? Nothing that has, um, been said publicly anywhere by EW that I'm aware of. I don't really watch many of their streams. It's just not a good, like, their stream time is really a terrible fit for my schedule. I'm almost always recording, like, exactly when their stream happens. So, Kyla's a mod in there. She's always watching. She usually lets me know if anything happens. I've not been told anything from her. Okay, gator track in the middle of the field. That makes sense. Let's see if we can just blast a little white tail there. Did you enjoy the sports last night? Who won the sports? Taylor did, as Kyla says. Yes, the Chiefs. The Chiefs did win the sports. It was a it was a good game, I, I would say. Like the first half was kind of slow, but there was actual defense played, which I appreciate. I quite like defensive football as long as it's good defense and not bad offense that's making the defense look good. Refs mostly stayed out of it. I think there was some missed holding calls, but that is what it is in today's NFL. There's been way more controversy in games and way worse endings than what we got last night. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Yes, uh, I watched every snap. Overtime had <laughs> you nervous? Uh, there was a whole a whole new um, genre is the wrong, wrong word. What do I want? Demographic of football watchers yesterday who were extremely nervous during overtime, and those were Swifties. Wanted to go to bed after the first quarter? I was enjoying it. I really was. Mahomes was selling. I don't even know if, like, there was really good defense. The Niners came out with a good plan, but you knew that Reed and Mahomes were going to crack that plan eventually. And the problem was the one thing the Niners really failed on was not capitalizing. Like, the fumble in the red zone of the first drive by McCaffrey. A couple of, I think, what did they kick? Three field goals total, maybe? Or four, I guess, counting overtime. You can't let them hang around. You just can't. Can't do it. How about Kelsey yelling at Andy? Andy has uh, explained it, and basically he was just saying, you know, like, don't count me out when we're in the red zone and stuff for, like, run plays and blocking and stuff. Andy didn't seem upset about it. I think that just is what it is. Why is that taking 12 years to come through? I'll read the Super Chat anyway from Danny. First, my laptop's hard drive dies yesterday, then a migraine today. Um, I, I will not be shooting you, but um, if you'd like, I can shoot a big mail in your honor. I don't know. <laughs> Halftime show is terrible. I mean, we talked about this uh, Friday stream, I think. Usually the halftime shows aren't great. They're really not, to me at least, they're not necessary in any way, shape, or form. It's just a stage for those people to perform on and get paid a bunch of money, and that's cool. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I was not the least bit interested. I think I was scrolling on X. There's the super chat. Good lord, that was 12 years later. Who are you going for? I picked the Chiefs on my football uh, picks channel. So, you know, in wanting to be right, I was rooting for the Chiefs. I will say, like, I like Kyle Shanahan. I like the Niners. The Brock Purdy story has been really cool this year. I wouldn't have been upset by any stretch if they won. But, you know, since I picked the Chiefs and wanted to be right. A flinty and a swifty? <laughs> Was hunting Mississippi before the Super Bowl got two diamonds and a piebald gator. There you go. Ow. I would be very pleased with such a result. We're just going to kind of move through some 
less than hot spots, I guess, on the map. Then we'll go through the, the really good spots. I'm thinking... Like, obviously, there was hunting pressure here. We killed two things, but I've got hunting pressure down there, over in these areas. I think we had a turkey hunt here last spring. I bet you that's what that hunting pressure is. Um, but since they did the population resets and redistributions all the way back nearly two years ago, when Rev and Tuli came out, we've probably been on this map in single player, like twice. So most of this stuff is probably initial spawns, and that's kind of why I wanted to come here today. I too have had a headache all day today, uh, Monday vibes for sure. I had a headache after the game last night, but I was alright this morning. We slept in way late too, like completely unintentional. I think we got back home right at midnight, so it was a late, late night getting back. And then I laid in bed with said headache for a while, but it's never any fun, that's for sure. Need to get a male diamond quail? I do too. And you know, I thought about it. The, uh... So we killed a female diamond quail back when that's how it worked. The only level 3 male... Well, the only level 3 quail, because female diamond quail were not level 3. The only level 3 quail I've ever seen was actually on our single player map. I think the pop resets and stuff that I just talked about would have, uh... You know, nullified it, but... In ways I wish I just left it on the map, since obviously they couldn't make diamond. Who was I talking to about that? Somebody somebody asked me if, if I was like nervous or whatever, I think in Discord. If, you know, if my pick was going to be wrong. It might have been when I was talking to Bottom Boy earlier. I can't remember where it came up, but basically I, I thought it, I thought of this. It would have been kind of fitting. I was wrong for the first game of the year. I did pick the Chiefs to beat the Lions and that didn't work. It would have been funny if the Chiefs lost that game and I was also wrong by picking the Chiefs the last game of the year. Is Fi is the way I'm pronouncing that? Got my first super rare and albino red fox. That is a heck of a super rare. Congrats, man. What's up, Xander? Gun hub's in here. Jude got an albino turkey. Nice. Are there albino eastern turkeys? I believe there's melanistics, and I know there's leucistics, because we just killed one. Is there a melanistic gator? Speaking of rares that we're wondering about, there are indeed. And they're really hard, at least for me. I've never killed one, to be fair. I've had every other rare, I think I've had every, every piebald pattern and we've had one albino. Um, I have seen a lot of common gators that I think are melanistic. Because in the distance, in the shade and stuff, that olive variant really looks quite dark. There are albino, okay. In Norway it's almost midnight? Am I dumb or is it like 9pm? Or what would that be, 2100? Maybe I misunderstand time zones, but I thought in Norway it was maybe 2200. Uh, what's the best way to keep motivation for your great one grind? I'm kind of losing it. I, I will tell you, I definitely lost motivation on, on my grinds as well. I think there's two ways, I guess, really. One is to just take a break. I don't know how long of a break I took, but I would say... It was close to like six months. I was just doing other stuff. I was worried about getting all the diamonds in the game. Like I was missing the raccoon dog and the couple of geese species from Revan to the Coast. Uh, Wish and Bobcat. It took me a couple of months to get all those things. That was something else to work on. And then I think the other thing is just kind of changing up your setup. What really worked well for me for both the moose and the bears was taking the time as much as it can feel counterproductive to make my setups better. Like for bears... Really focusing in on whatever it was, like six lakes, seven lakes, something like that, where we were getting consistent respawns. And it was the success with the bear that led me to do the same with the moose. And I mean, we killed 200 moose after I changed the setup. And then we got him. So, like, if maybe you're not getting consistent respawns, or if you're, if you feel like you could optimize your setup, that's something to do that I think will give you natural motivation because if you. If you make the setup better, it's just going to make you feel like it's more likely to happen, because I, I kind of think it is more likely to happen. Tracking a max weight quail, there you go. Speaking of quail. That kind of scared me. I think we're going to... There was a, a walkway probably right there. I think we're going to cross, go across the field, because I do want to hunt for quail as well. And then get up to uh, this area of the river, which is really good. Dang it, that was a subscriber and I wasn't looking. I always forget. If I'm talking and then there's an alert, I'll just 
get to it as soon as I finish whatever thought that I'm having. However, the subscriber ones don't show up in my alert list, so I can't see them if they go away. Whoever that was, thank you for subscribing. Favorite gun to use? Um, I think I'm a known 44 lever action lover. I, I use this one quite a lot. The... I kind of like the drilling drilling combo gun. It's not... That's actually the one that's in the thumbnail. We don't have it in our loadout. I just needed a gun that fit a certain area of the screen. And I already had that cut out. It's not like the most useful gun or anything like that. I just like that it's something different. I really... I pride myself on using different weapons a lot and trying to like change up loadouts. I don't know why we don't just fast travel here. That makes more sense. What's up, Ryder? Grinding for gray lags and duckos on rep. Nice. Can you leak the video tomorrow? I mean, I can tell you what tomorrow's video is going to be. I will also note, though, just in case this happens to be more up the uh, alley of what you're talking about, pretty much every single video is available to channel members. You can see, like, Ryder there with the green name, channel member. Uh, all the videos that I release, anywhere from, like, 10 to 2 hours early, depending on how quickly I get them done, they are available for viewing for uh, for channel members first. That's just a, a little perk of having that. So if you're talking about actually being able to see the video before it comes out, that's the one way to do it. Not that it's out now, but it will be probably tomorrow morning-ish afternoon. Anyway, the actual content of the video is going to be a Way the Hunter, basically part two of yesterday's video. I will tell you this, it did not go as planned, but there's some super, super exciting stuff. Like upcoming potential big males, and of course something to add to the lodger. I can't find the actual comment that Mel's responding to, but I'm assuming someone asked what great one combo we got. Fabled Oak, big typical rack, the exact combo I wanted, which resulted in like a reaction. I, I really, I, you know, it's always it's always cool to get live reactions. We got the great one Whitetail recorded, and then obviously the great one Moose was live on stream. Having live reactions is really cool, but. There was, it was such like a, a state of shock that it was that combo. There were many points where I struggled to even say what I wanted to say, because it was just so impossibly unlikely that that happened. Uh, evolution of things, thank you for the super chat. Going pretty good. Going pretty good. How are things going for you? Appreciate you stopping in, thank you for the support. The lighting on this map is so unique. Honestly, like it's not early in the morning anymore. It is 8 a.m. It feels super foggy. I saw a piglet. Uh, Rick, thank you for subscribing, by the way. Was the last alert that came up the uh, super chat? Or did I miss another one? I have a question. Tayawaro National Park mission the hunt is on. Uh, something bugged on this mission too. I followed the tracks. Kiri said something. And I thought the mission was finished. Oh boy. Um, I wish I had any clue what that mission is or what it does. What does it like ask you to do? Nothing happened. The mission log still says follow the moose tracks to the end. Oh. It should lead you to like a moose that you get to shoot, I think. Got a super rare mellow boar on Hirschfeld. That's crazy. Congrats, man. Would love to hunt the Mississippi Delta in real life. Out of curiosity, would that be a waterfowl hunt or like what kind of thing would you be looking to do? Mission for weapon from helicopter. That might be one where you have to like contact support or maybe if you go like into the official hunter discord, you could ask around there. I have no idea what you could possibly do to fix that if, like, progressing in the mission is just not possible. Do you think the 44 DLC is worth it? The the weapon pack that has this uh, 44 lever action? Do I think it's worth it? Um, there are a couple of things the 44 is really good for. I would actually say, as we're here on Mississippi hunting gators, gators would be one of the best things that it can do because it's got such insane penetration. Gators are just really tough. Like... You catch one at a bad angle or something trying to get, like, say, a quartering away lung shot, sometimes even really good calibers don't punch through. So it's nice to have something like the 44 that can do it. If you really don't hunt gators that much, 
the limited range of this, or at least the limited zeroing, makes it probably not as good an option as, say, like the even the 308 AR or the M1, any of probably five or six um, medium game rifles that are out there. So it depends on what you hunt. I really like the gun. I, I think it's got a great niche for that. It's also insane against class three animals, so bobcats, spring buck, access to your stuff like that. But again, there, there's options beyond that for those species that do just as well. The fact that this isn't Leighton is a problem. I mean, I really did enjoy our stroll around Leighton after the Great One Moose on stream. Was that just a week ago? Good lord. It feels like that happened two months ago. That was a week ago today, right? It had to have been. <laughs> that doesn't feel possible. Anyway, I enjoyed that a lot, but I did want to switch it up today. Uh, anything specific you're going for today? Just joined in? Looking for a male diamond quail, or really just a diamond quail, because now the only diamond quail are males. And rare gold gators. So we're kind of... Basically what I want to do is move through fields and stuff where we may encounter quail. We're going to be doing that as we break into these fields out here. And then we'll go kind of along the rivers and hopefully smoke every gator we see. <laughs> we aren't speaking, oh dear. If the... If the ad, oh, like the commercials were good, I would not be that mad that the Swifties won. Were there any good commercials? The E-Trade Baby one I thought was good. There was one other one that I remember thinking was good. Not many though. Uh, Evolution, thanks for becoming a shoosty. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. If you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Kyla has the link there in chat. Uh, join that, link up your YouTube, get the member roll, take advantage of all that good stuff, and of course, enjoy the green name and emojis in chat, and as we just talked about, early access to video releases. Did I say that fast enough? I felt like I was really speed talking there. Favorite non-Great One trophy? Good question. If I'm allowed to count super rares, because I feel like, that was a heavy track, right? Oh, ooh, ooh, hello. Okay, max estimate track. Now we go and track some quail. Anywho, uh, super rares arguably are more rare than great ones, but assuming that I can answer with that, Piebald Diamond Gray Fox from this map, definitely my favorite. Just, it was, that's another one where getting to record the reaction was something that really makes it special to me. But I knew it was a piebald. Like, I spotted it. I could tell it was piebald. It was like, no way. This is, We're having a great hunt. We've killed a diamond quail. We've killed an albino raccoon. There's a piebald fox. Spot it. Boom. Level 9. Like, all the... Like, I imagine my face turned ghost white. Like, that would be one where having a face cam would have actually been worth it. The shock of that made it special. And then he just barely makes diamond, too. Temu had, like, four commercials. So I thought it was Timu all these years. And then they... Say they pronounce it as Temu and say shop like a billionaire. All right, let's see. Do we have a look? What if this is a level three quail? Oh, never mind. It's probably that one. Probably, unless there's multiple thickens, which I did have one other decent track. I'm gonna assume that's the one, and then we're probably just gonna try to fire away at everything else. Well, if that wasn't the one, <laughs> one of these should be. So what I'm going to actually do is go back and pick up the track just to ensure that we did kill the right one. That, oh, interesting. That was not the one. Now, we still could have killed the one. We'll find out. But that's why I want to get the track just to see if it's actually dead or not. So that's the big track. I'm going to be mad a little bit if we didn't kill the right one, because quail suck the track. They really do. That shoot gun is big, big. It's got the uh, the New Year cosmetics on. I really like it. Where am I going? Good shoes. I think we hit every shot we took, so I can't complain. I hear you. Okay, so I think we... Yeah, he's dead right there. So whichever one he was is dead. I think we'll just pick that up first. What was you? Not bad. 223? 
So that means we just didn't spot him then. Because the, there was the one up to 219. But the, uh, the first one we killed... Probably this one here, this 205. That was the one that had the higher estimate. So maybe one biggish quail got away. I think that may be the case. We'll still move this way if, or actually we're, we're kind of going the other way, but if that quail happens to flush up in the next couple hundred meters, sure, otherwise we'll just go back. Uh, there was something, I have a question, do you think a great one reindeer would be cool? I do for two reasons. Number one, I mean, you could make reindeer and caribou racks so much bigger than they currently are in the game. Like, wider set, there's a, there's a lot you could do with them to make them way better. But the other reason is, it's a little bit of almost like nostalgia and stuff. Though not for the greatest reason. So, when Great Ones came out, when Great One Whitetail became a thing, there was a couple of bugs. One happened, it wasn't early access. There was, I don't know if you remember, uh, something they would do called a Trailblazer Beta. That was, it was unfortunately PC only, which is I think why they stopped doing it, because doing a beta thing on consoles is really difficult. But it was an open beta, where new content like lions they did on there the great one whitetail they did there was a bunch of different stuff basically the entire community could go on and test it max score animals were getting the great one medal instead of the diamond medal like somebody killed a 21 scoring mallard that's the max score and got a great one medal and then animals that were going over a certain score because of true racks reindeer and caribou could be great ones and the reindeer when they would have a certain score because true act could have such a high score it was going above whatever some kind of set max was in the game um the reindeer defaulted to the old legacy diamond racks and it was really cool to see like a couple of screenshots of people with that it looked like a great one the the old legacy racks were that much better than the current diamond ones so anyway long story short i'd love to see it and i'd love if they even incorporated the old legacy rack maybe make it bigger or more unique in some way but yeah, it would be really... I, I think they could be one of the most majestic great ones in the game. A great one reindeer would still troll somehow? You might be right there. That's what that picture is? I always wondered how that happened? Yep. Every now and then those pictures circulate. And, uh... It's nice to have the explanation. Got anything good yet? We just tracked a max estimate quail. He unfortunately was not a diamond, but it was good to find a max estimate track and, you know, at least feel like we're sort of on the right track, to say it that way. Now we're heading into gator territory. We're kind of passing in between. It's like we'll go through the fields, look for quail, hit the rivers, look for gators, pass through more fields. It's a, a good kind of way to hunt both, I think. Do you still have a legacy reindeer? I think in my... I don't even know what I call it. Um, do I have a name? Maybe I just never named it. Probably the Sezega Safari 1. I put together a lodge when the new scoring system came out. That basically was all of our best legacy scoring system diamonds and stuff. So in there... I think I probably have a Legacy Diamond Reindeer 12. How'd that miss? Hello? Alright, he deserves to live. I don't know what happened there. You got your moose. How are we killing great ones so close together? Nice, k -Flo. Congrats, man. That's all we gotta do is just wait for one to get the great one and then like if I get it you'll get yours next if you get yours I'll get mine next that shot he's sharp looking it's a cool camo I kind of like it it has a what's that called almost a holographic vibe at least to my eyes never even fired a shot traveled to the river and he was literally the first one of the run that is insane Them darn blanks. Yeah, it wasn't me. It was obviously the gun. I wouldn't miss. I don't do that. 
What's your favorite trophy? Like anything we've ever shot? I mean, the great one, Whitetail, is obviously going to have a, a special place. Um. What the? Pfft. Didn't escape that time. Holographic Charizard shotgun? Oh boy. Hi. This is a kind of effective way to hunt raccoons. Was that... Was that a regular blonde? That almost looked blonde piebald, which is why I took another shot. These zones are destroyed forever. Are you normal? Yeah, it's normal. Alright. Freak myself out for nothing. And we had made a fine shot anyway. <laughs> uh, JChars, thanks for becoming a member. Good to have you here. Welcome to the Shoosties. If you are not already in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll, make the most of all that good stuff, and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. Is that a... I can't even think of the name. Is that a Harry Potter reference, Beverly? Fun fact, the first pack of Pokemon cards I ever opened had a hollow Charizard in it. I couldn't even tell you... Like, for all I know, I could have opened one and not known it. I didn't know anything about Pokemon cards when I was opening them. We were way too young. We just bought Pokemon cards because it seemed like a cool thing to do. Is your multiplayer in Call of the Wild not working also? I haven't messed with it today. We were, at the beginning of the stream I talked about, we may host multiplayer later, but if it's not working, obviously that's kind of a problem. What kind of, like, are you just not able to connect the servers or what you got going on? How you liking Matsuriki Park? It's been really enjoyable. Um, I just, like, right before this stream, got finished hunting that map, recorded a video for tomorrow. Basically the part two of yesterday's video, if, you, if you've watched that already. The one kind of concern I have, like what happens, for me at least, I'll play for, say, like, because I recorded that video Saturday night. So that took me like three hours. Um, I had kind of seen everything on the map. I knew there were a couple of four stars that I wanted to, you know, pass an age cycle and check on. Once I pass that age cycle, though, and I check on those things, then I feel like I'm just kind of stuck waiting. Like, I feel like the map needs to be a little bit bigger. That's my one long-term concern with it. In the short term, it's a lot of fun. But I, I have that same feeling with Aurora Shores, and I'm afraid it's going to go there eventually. Not to say, like, you know, finding the giant five-star red deer and stuff isn't amazing. I just hope that there's enough spots to constantly be checking that you don't feel like you've checked all the good spots in, like, ten minutes. Says host no longer present. Oh, that's weird. What's up, Rippin? Watching from work here in Virginia. Nice. My first ever gator was a nine troll, then the second was a diamond? So out of curiosity, were the first two gators you spotted level nines, or was there like some smaller ones that maybe didn't shoot? Gotta go, don't kill a great one after I leave like you did with your moose. If there's a great one on this map, I'll be shocked. Although I guess whitetail and bears both exist here. I'd be kind of upset if there was a great one bear on my Mississippi. Because it's just a map we never would hunt. Hope your mellow fallow turns into a five star. So what I'll tell you in that, uh, obviously he's not max age yet, so we haven't killed him yet. He's nowhere close to max age. But in tomorrow's video, we do go and check in on him, and what I'll say is I'm encouraged by what I saw. What type of movies do you like? Hmm. I don't really watch movies at all. Like, if we watch something, you know, let's say we make dinner and sit down and watch something while we're eating dinner, it's usually some kind of true crime show or whatever. What's that thing? Kylo will probably know the name of it. We're watching something right now. It was like a murder case thing, but it's really interesting. I cannot think of the name of the show. 
Maybe she can find it. Trying to catch the new, the four new small boys on Norway. I, I saw Kyla was out there earlier looking around, doing some fishing. I think she was on um, Golden Ridge though. Bet he got fined. He may be fined by the team. If I had to guess, he would want to be fined in the sense of if he gets fined for doing something, then people who are not, you know, Travis Kelsey and a big reason they win a lot of games will see that and notice stay in line. You don't know what it's called? Okay. It's a good show. Not Forensic Files. No, it's a, at least the thing I'm talking about, you might be asking somebody else, but it's like a four-part series on a specific case. I, ooh, that's a Max Estimate Raccoon Track. It's Yen Suring was the name of the like case or whatever. I just don't know the name of the actual like documentary. Is it cold in PA? It's been really nice here for like a week straight. Uh, today, this thing says 46. That's lying to me. Hang on. Is it actually 46? Felt colder than that out. But we're supposed to get some snow like tonight into tomorrow, so definitely cooling down. Possible diamond raccoon? Could be. Gotta go and check. Or try to check. These things are also not fun to track. Week one of asking Flinter when he's gonna come hunt Illinois with me on livestream. I don't think you can livestream a hunt uh, without risking terms of service issues. As far as when I'm going to hunt Illinois, don't non -res is, is Illinois the one where non-residents need preference points, or is that Iowa? How long have you been playing? Like, uh, ever type of thing? That's a weird way for me to describe that. I've been playing since the game came out, if that's what you're asking. Actually, there was a, I guess, lottery-style beta they did, even prior to release, and, uh, I didn't get in, but there was a viewer of mine who entered like four emails into that lottery and they got two drawn. So they actually gave me a code and I got to play, it was December, I think, 7th, 2016. False spring. <laughs> Ever play Hell Let Loose? I'm aware of it, I've never played it. Feels like Call of the Wild and Battlefield had a baby. I've shot an M1 grand in dozens of games and it never felt more realistic in that game. That's cool. Don't know how public lane access works for Illinois, at least the east part of the state. Well, even in not knowing, you probably still have more knowledge of it than me. Hey, Mr. Biffin, thanks for becoming a shusty. Welcome, welcome. What I know is that, oh, this is actually, it says 2X. So is that a renewal that's acting like it's being... Because I thought you were anyway. But either way, I know you know the drill about Discord and all that, but I appreciate you, man. Hope you're doing well. Are we talking about the wrong types of football? This is unfortunate. I, I have zero knowledge of the other football. County specific for firearm archery is statewide. These tracks are horrible. <laughs> it's like quite literally trying to find a needle in a haystack. Look at this. This better be a five <laughs> for all we have to put in to find him. Okay, maybe he's done warping now because suddenly we have a turn in the tracks. It's one way up there. If you could have one animal of your choice, no matter what it is out of the game, what would it be? I'm trying to think of something that fits. Like, I really want doll sheep, but I wonder if, like, the way you're phrasing the question, if I could add literally anything, if I could come up with something better. What about, like, greater kudu? I think they'd be kind of cooler, to be honest. Might be a, a greater addition, you might say. He's going to be a three. I mean, it's a four minimum, but, you know. Watch it be a small four. I wouldn't be terribly surprised. 
it is the way it goes most times, but when you find a max estimate track, you have to check just in case. Found a great one moose just now, but it's a duplicate, meaning you've got the same combo. Is that am I understanding that right? Okay, we need one track to figure out what direction he fled in, looking like there. And then this is where things get annoying, because they... I, I would say, let, let's compare to red foxes or something. Unlike red foxes, they'll basically just run. They don't slow to a trot very much, and therefore they get way out ahead of you. And you just gotta catch them in an opening, or when they're doing this, when they're running back and forth. If you can happen to spot them there, at least you can see what it is. How about Nilgai? I would put Nilgai in the same, like, as far as adding them to the game, I'd put him in the same category as, like, um, Bison and stuff like that. Like, it'd be cool probably the first time. That's a four. It, it would be cool to find, you know, a level five or level nine, whatever they'd make them. But I think all the trophy ones are going to look more or less the same. You know, you can't... There's not going to be a lot of variation in horn size and all that sort of stuff. So I think they'd get boring quickly, unfortunately. That, that's why I chose Greater Kudu, because they could make them so big and impressive. An antlered animal would probably be the ideal choice, but I don't even know what antlered thing I'd want in the game that fits on a map we have. It's kind of a big one. Well, that was a fun track. At least we successfully found it. All right, now for the 12th time, we're gonna try to go over there towards that river. What if there's a vet category on how many camera appearances Taylor Swift had? Probably not on like the regular partnered, um, like betting sports books. Like uh, FanDuel, uh, DraftKings stuff, I doubt they had something like that. Other places, I'm sure you could bet on it. You can, I mean, in Vegas, you can bet on almost anything. I had, and I didn't bet on it. I may have said it on a stream, I can't remember. I, I said it to someone or I said it on a stream that I would bet there would be a non-quarterback pass. I don't think I said touchdown pass. But Juwan Jennings threw a touchdown pass. And I looked, I couldn't find non-quarterback throws a pass as a prop. I bet it was one somewhere. I'm kind of upset because I really felt that was going to happen. I thought the Chiefs would do it, but still. Would squirrels and trees ever be possible? I think it could be done. Um, but I, I've done this example a lot. So here we have a tree, right? It's 30 meters away. And then all of a sudden it's a kilometer away. The reason is there's no collision, no hitbox for anything above a certain point. So we could actually quite literally shoot through that, like if there was a duck flying behind that tree, we could shoot through it and kill the duck. The reason that's a problem is if there's no collision, no hitbox, it's really hard then to get the squirrel to properly interact with the tree. At least, you know, above that certain point. So I don't know how they could solve that. There probably is a solution. I mean, for one, you could make a certain type of tree that's basically the zone for squirrels. That would probably be the easiest solution, but I think that ruins the mystique of it if they're always, you know, in a certain tree or whatever. I think it would be nice, though. You know, it could be kind of rabbit or even quail-like. Just an opportunity kill. Uh, Mason, thanks for becoming a super shooter, by the way. Appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. As we talked about earlier, if you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll. Take advantage of that good stuff and enjoy the green name emojis and early access to video releases. Guess after Mahomes sa saved... Why did Mahomes save your butt? What, what did that have? Did you bet money on the game? That'd be my guess. What's up, Mystical? 62 months. That is a couple of months. I have a question. Is a 253 scoring reindeer big for a diamond? Surely 453, right? Uh, if if it is actually 453, then yeah, it's a pretty darn big one. They, I think 464 or something is as big as they get. 460 something. This song is the best Flinter song. The worst thing is I can't hear it. 
My YouTube music is a, I think it's like a 45 minute sound file that just loops, I guess, three times in the course of a normal stream. I don't, I never hear the YouTube music. Twitch music I'm playing through whatever the heck Windows sound app is, Groove Music or something, so I actually hear that. Got my first time into Red Fox. There you go, 500 kills. I, if it was anything like my Red Fox grind, I know that 500 kills did not come easy, so congrats. Big meal! Do that again. Okay, do that again, but don't... Alright. You're not very cooperative. What shotgun? Uh, it's just the 12 gauge, the Cacciatore, the base game pump. Can't ever change the music. I There's been very few, if any, like comments, chats, whatever, about disliking the music that I use in the videos and streams. I remember one time, and what? There was a reason it happened, too. I know what it was. So I did a lodge tour in Way the Hunter on Nez Purse. And I used a song that I didn't want to use because the website that I get all the music through, Epidemic Sound, the site was down. So I couldn't go and download new music and I needed to get the video done so I just used the song I had and it wasn't as good. That's like the only time I can ever remember someone negatively commenting on the music. Hall of Shamer, I think we've got one or I would have would have mounted it. Is 1100 score big for Croc? Max score would be indeed big. Sounds good, Zaggy. Found a melodic links on multiplayer, but my brother closed the game to play Fortnite. Oh dear. That is not ideal. My Diamond Red Fox was easy, just stumbled upon it when I was hunting Fallow on Emerald Coast. I got the impression that Emerald Coast, like, I guess initial spawn Red Fox were. It seemed like there were a lot of diamonds. I think I killed two or three. I don't even know if I put them in videos, but it seemed like they just kept on showing up. Look at Discord, is that the, the reindeer mount? I have a male and female 12 score mallard as a tribute to Flinter and Kylan, nice. I do know the membership renewals don't like to show up in the alerts. So Donald, thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back. Hope you're well. Keep up the great work. I will definitely do my best and thank you again for the support. You stole this song from Big Ben? I should use that again in like a random video and see if anybody says that. How do you keep motivation to play the game? I keep getting bored, but I hunt in real life and love it. And I love the game, but sometimes it feels like I keep doing the same things. Yeah, and I guess maybe this won't be a good answer then because maybe it'll be fairly obvious, but I generally make an effort to keep the game fresh by doing different things, whether it is going for a hunt, you know, on Mississippi Acres. This isn't exactly a map we hunt all the time. Or, you know, a big thing for me, I change up my loadout just about every single hunt. I rarely do two hunts in a row with the same loadout, now to be fair, the Mississippi hunt that we did on Saturday, I do have the same loadout as that. Mostly because I won't lie, I was a little bit lazy before this stream. But yeah, like, I think the reason Call of the Wild can get boring but also can be so great is because you can kind of make it, you know, whatever you want to make it. If you want to hunt with nothing but a bow and spot and stock stuff, you can do that. If you want to run a gun, if you want to grind, you know, there's so many different ways to play it, but it, it comes down to whatever you want to do and how you change it up. Go to multiplayer, you know, hunt a map you, you don't hunt. Go to like Hirschfelden. If you're someone who hasn't hunted Hirschfelden forever, you may enjoy it. It's, I think that's just what it comes down to. You kind of have to find a way to do something different. Every, I think we hit a tree. Every, you know, been every six months, but this time it's not because we've been like, what, eight months since the last map? 
we get something, you know, majorly new that allows us to change it up. The rest of the time, it's kind of up to us. Favorite map, Layton Lakes. Fro with the 21 months, the reverse 12. Welcome back. Didn't know you could do this. Like, share the streak? I actually don't even know how to do it. Well, nonetheless, I appreciate you. And Kale, thank you as well. Welcome to the Shoosties. Good to have you. Thank you for the support. If you are not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up your YouTube. Get the member role. Take advantage of that good stuff. Enjoy the green name emojis and early access to videos as well. A little late, any trophies? Uh, no. We had... We tracked a max weight quail. I think he scored... He wasn't very big. 220-something? I mean, 238's diamond. 220's pretty big. Uh, we tracked a max weight raccoon. That ended up falling just shy of 11. Nothing crazy just yet, but... As far as Mississippi hunts go, it's been pretty consistent. We're killing a bunch of stuff. Missed the old SRP. I missed the old SRP, the old Rancho. God, Rancho was nuts. Like, it was insane when it came out. It's funny, too. We did that Rancho video where it was like, you know, earning Rancho's respect, and I don't think we've been back. Maybe this week. The little money button does that. Huh. Do you play Way the Hunter? Yes, I actually recorded a video for tomorrow, just before this stream. Been all over Matariki Park. We streamed it last Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, I think, were the days that we streamed it. I almost streamed it today, but... I wanted to, because we finally got our great one, um, Moose, our last stream, I wanted to stream Call the Wild and do a non-grind hunt for once. Top three maps, Leighton SRP, Yukon, Rev a close fourth. I can't argue with it. I think Verhunga may have something to say in the, in the top three, but I can't sit here and be like, nope, disagree. They're all... All four of those really are some of my absolute favorites. Can you make a guide for Wade Hunter? I need to. I, um... It's a little while after Aurora Shores came out. So it's been a while now. I had planned on doing a guide. I, I had a whole big, like, uh, document of the different stuff I wanted to talk about and, like, the different bullet points and stuff. And then... They released an update that, like, screwed up the screen. Basically, when you turned, it would be really jittery. Like, it just looked terrible. So I didn't record that video because I didn't want it to look terrible. Like, if I'm going to make a guide, I doubt people want to have to deal with that. And then it just kind of got thrown by the wayside. Because I, I want to say maybe Albino Bison came out. And Melanistic Moose, I think that was then. And it just snowballed and I've never gotten around to it. I, I, gotta, I gotta do that. What's up, old days? Bottom of the list is Hirsch. I know I'm on the map right now. I still think Mississippi is my least favorite. I came around to liking New England while hunting bobcats. It would still be like my second to last favorite. But it would have been below Mississippi up until that. Favorite truck? Like... Do you just mean, like, my favorite make of truck, like an F-150 or a, a Ram 1500, something like that? I've only driven F-150, so that's going to be my obvious answer. Uh, I wish they added replayable missions because I really want the Mocha Moose, but I lost it after a vital hit. It would be nice if, like, maybe you could pay, like, an in-game amount of money, you know. You get to a point in the game where you just have basically limitless funds. It wouldn't be a bad thing if you could use that to, like, you know, reset a story mission or reset an entire line of missions. Are there any truly unplayable maps? I guess it depends. I didn't see a mythical over there. I guess it depends on your definition of it, but I would say no. I mean, I can have a really fun hunt on any map so long as I don't need to go for a specific thing. If I'm there for, you know, I really want to get a, I don't know, maybe I really want, like, a diamond whitetail. I'm probably not going to enjoy hunting for that on New England. I just don't like that map for whitetail. But if I can just go hunt New England, and whatever I find is a success, which is sort of how I approach these hunts, I typically have a good time. 
Papa Pep, that is a 12 out of 12 name. Thank you for becoming a super schuster. Great um, avatar photo as well. I like that. Welcome, welcome. We also had Caden with the super chat. Thank you for the support. What's up? How you been? Been good. Um, I feel like it, this always happens. I just get insanely busy with stuff. And then when all that comes to an end, it's like a relaxing day. Like today's been a super chill day. Last week, I guess it was the Way the Hunter stuff. I just felt like I was nonstop busy all week. And then this week, we kind of get back into the normal flow of things. And it's just a nice chill day. It's been nice. I donated 199 It's not showing. Was that the one there? It just came up? I think it may have been. Anyway, I, to uh, complete the thought there, Papa Pep, if you are not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up YouTube, get the member roll. Take advantage of that good stuff and enjoy the green name and emojis. Also, the early access to video uploads. What is your dream rare for Call of the Wild? Mine's a piebald diamond moose. That's a good one. I've always wanted a big horns leucistic diamond cave buffalo. I think that'd be really cool. Um, thinking through some of the species in the game. I'm not sure if anything really tops that for me. Going through like some new ones and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that would kind of be it. Albino Diamond Line would be really cool too. Just started my white toe grind. Which map are you doing it on? It's an okay block there. Diamond Lucistic Croc, there you go. How is it not Albino Quail right now? I mean, I would really like one, but I think the difference would be that wouldn't be something where... Like, to me, I doubt I'm replaying that over and over in my head, like, that moment. Like, I, I don't remember the words. But I can remember, you know, so much about the specifics of the Pieball Diamond Gray Fox or the Albino Diamond Moose. Um, the Super Air White Tail that came from the grind, I, I remember them really well, but I feel like they were different in the sense of like, you know you're about to run into some deer and then all of a sudden there's a Super Air there. Like that was, I guess, a different reaction in that sense. I just feel like an Albino Diamond Quail I don't know, just because they're not that big. It wouldn't be a special. 3,100 kills into my whitetail grind. That's a lot of kills. Is there such a thing as leucistic croc? Uh, yeah, there's leucistic, there's piebald. What's the, um, light brown, I think? Pretty sure that's what it's, what it's called. Then obviously Albino and, and Mela. What do you think the next great one will be? Or what do you hope it'll be? I hope it'll be Mule Deer. I hope... You know, we're... Um, we're almost four years into Great Ones. The, the Great One White Tail came out end of April 2020. I think, you know, if it's not this one, it'll be soon anyway that they finally go away from only base game Great Ones. If this were to be the time they do that, I would hope that they would do Mule Deer. What I think it'll be, I still feel like Rosebud Elk's a pretty, pretty good bet. What animals have you hunted in real life? Um, I mean, as far as like, you know, as long as we're not counting small game, it's basically only whitetail. I guess turkeys, if they don't fall under small game, depends on your definition. But that would be about it. Depending on... Uh, crowned wildebeest. Where did that go? Oh, and black springbuck? Black, black brown springbuck even? I mean, my, my opinion is that I wish they could be male. It's kind of always bothered me that they can't be. Next great one is Patrick Mahomes, a feral goat. What's going on, Clark? I would have hung out, by the way, in the sports ball chat in, in Discord last night during the game. But I was watching on 
YouTube TV. Which means compared to like the television broadcast, I was behind by say 10, 15 seconds. And I kept having stuff spoiled, so I just like got off of Discord. I hunted coyotes for about 12 seconds in West Virginia. I did, that's true. I did attempt to hunt coyotes, um, or a coyote, here for like one day. Just riding high on the wind, I can imagine. How often do they release a new great one? It, I would say, is it like one a year? I guess it would be, right? There's five great ones that's been for four years now. Bears and Moose both came out in 22, right? Yeah. But before that, Whitetail were April 2020. Red Deer were November of 21, I think. And then Bears, June of 22. Moose, December of 22. Fallow were June of 23. So it was getting to the point of like every six months. Five medium! Holy! Did I not get it? Hello there. Oh yeah, they're both gonna float here. Is Spirit Brown Bear rare? It's like an uncommon. What's up, Andrew? Nothing yet. A lot of kills. Just nothing special. What's the biggest year you've ever shot in real life and in game? I mean, I guess in game it would be the Great One Whitetail. If you want biggest diamond, I mean, so they don't get this big anymore. I killed a 289 back when they just go, go up to like, I think 302 was the biggest ever killed back on that older sort of scoring. Current scoring, I maybe have a 273 or something like that. Seth already knows the answer. My my biggest in real life was a 180 and 6 8 uh, not tip. Was the, did I do that on Twitch? No, I did it on here. Let's leave it on screen right there. <laughs> I had, so that uh, cutout is in my channel art, so I already had the transparent one, and I just thought, yeah, I'll throw it into the stream thing, and that way we can put it on screen. What's up, Mumbleworth? We are hunting gators, and hey, this is almost like playing in multiplayer, where the thing covers the the score. Except this time it's a deer and not a chat. Anyway, gators and quail. Big male. Just came in, missed anything? Nothing special kill-wise yet. Cue the great one moose. I actually, do I have that on here? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Any, anything else I should put on screen? Do you still have the monster beard? What? Is that a joke because I can't grow a beard? Big male next to a small male? It, uh, not that I'm a huge person anyway, but it certainly doesn't help that that deer is gigantic. I mean, this you know, I shot him on, that was December 9th of 21. He was all of 200 pounds. Which if you hear, especially if you're in a really cold state, a 200 pound deer is maybe not that big in some of the colder states. But a 200 pound deer in December was probably a 250 pound deer in October. Like, they run off a significant percentage of their weight chasing does all throughout the rut. Like, he he would have been just an enormous deer for Pennsylvania. Social security number, uh, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. Swear to God, I thought you had one. Uh, nope. I'm trying to think of, uh, unless it was Jaxi. That's about the only person I could think of that would have a big beard in the community. I mean... Mason had one. Who else? That's the... Those are the two that I think of that would be, like, somewhat associated with having a beard. Jaxie being associated with having a beard because it is in the name. That one does make sense. Please don't go the other way. I hate you. Just fly out into the field. Why you gotta be like this? <laughs> That's what you get, really. I hear it. For half a second, I thought I saw it. Oh. 
I literally, I saw like just the outline of it. Stupid birdie. Paid the price. Sure did. What's up, PJ? What time are we hunting? Uh, good question. 11 a.m. roughly. We started at, I think, 7-ish. And just haven't messed with it. Just been running around, leaving the time as is. It's kind of fun to do that, too. You know, the last whole bunch of streams in a row, every 15 minutes we're resetting the time, we can just run around and... Whatever we see, whatever shows up. Hey, another max estimate quail. We can go after it that way. Alright, what do we think? Is this going to be a level 3? I still don't know how I would feel if we killed a diamond the first, or I guess second hunt for it. What's your dream IRL hunt? Caribou in Alaska would definitely be number one on the list. I guess that's maybe that same flock. This is weird because... We had the... There was a warning call when we shot that female. And I thought it came from this direction. My guess is maybe they were in a feed zone here and I'm thinking they actually probably flew somewhere. So let's just see. We gotta get one track to have a direction. There's one over there that we didn't pick up. That would kind of explain the warning calls coming from that direction. Did they actually fly? That's trot, but gives us the direction anyway. Would you bow hunt the caribou? It wouldn't be a deal breaker for me. Like, I, I would prefer to bow hunt them, but you know, if the opportunity came up, I don't know what, you know, the opportunity coming up looks like. But, you know, if I if I found a hunt and an outfitter at a price I could afford and it was like, oh, dang, all the bow hunts are so, sold out, I can only do a gun hunt, I wouldn't think twice I would book the gun hunt. Thoughts on the Super Bowl? Um, I thought it was one of the better games in terms of, like, controversy and stuff. There's not, you know, there wasn't much there. I, I mean, there's... As always, there's a million different reasons. People are saying it was rigged on X. There was the, uh, I guess it would have been the third to last play of regulation. Kelsey went out of bounds. There was 10 seconds left on the clock, uh, but the clock stopped at nine. Then they put 10 seconds back on. Somehow that was rigging the game as if that makes any sense. There was on the Chiefs last drive in regulation. I think it was also Kelsey. Got like a nine and a half yard gain. The broadcast put it up as first down. It actually wasn't. Mahomes scrambled for like two yards and then then they gave him the first down, which was correct. That was people saying like, oh look, they gave the Chiefs a free first down that didn't actually happen. It was, you know, there was all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I thought the refs did a pretty good job of just being observers and otherwise staying out of it. The game was mostly good. I felt like uh, maybe, whoa. Maybe it lacked a little bit of, like, true greatness. Like, if you remember the, uh, the Super Bowl last year, I, there was a little more, like, great plays, I guess. But overall, I thought it was a good game. I liked it. I enjoyed the fact that there was actual defense played. What's up, Ridge? Miss anything cool? Nothing special yet. We've actually had two max estimate quail tracks, which is two more than I thought we were going to... There's another one. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was two more than I thought we were going to find today. We're now three. Nothing that has made diamond, no rares just yet, but you never know. Now the question is, was he in the same flock, and are we actually wasting our time by going this direction, or is this a separate... Separate deal. Very old, you'd think it's separate. Dream Hunt and Stone Sheep? Stone Sheep's a good one. I I don't even have a good reason for it. It came from, like, hunting them in my first ever hunting game, Cabela's uh, Big Game Hunter 2004. But I've always just kind of liked Stone Sheep. I thought they were cool from a very young age. Watching your stream at the gym, hopefully I'm extremely motivating. Still trying to get the Diamond Quail? Indeed. We are actually on a max estimate track right now. The Chiefs didn't play, like, an actual Super Bowl team? That's not what I said. I said, I didn't... Basically, 
The 49ers played incredible, except they went into prevent defense a couple of times and let the Chiefs walk right down the field. I'm not saying the Chiefs did anything, you know, it's not like they shouldn't have done that, but I think if the, maybe if the Niners were up seven instead of three in overtime, I think we could have seen more like great plays out of Mahomes. He had that one like fourth down scramble and I think he scrambled on maybe third or second and he had like a 19 yard scramble to get him to like the 10 yard line. There were a couple of really good plays. I do not mean they didn't earn it or anything like that. I'm just saying I think the defenses that they had to face at the end instead of making them beat them they just were easily able to take what the defense gave them instead of you, I mean you saw it early in the game like that crazy deep throw Mahomes had to who caught that was it uh, that was McCall Hardman too right and then Pacheco fumbled the next play I wanted this like that's what I mean by like true greatness and stuff like just nobody else can do it type of stuff We're going to get custom bibs like Chase and Kelsey? That's a good question. So, what happened here? These look like warping tracks to me. They're in a straight line. Oh, that's a quail. No, well, not the one we want. Oop. Hey, from Alaska. Welcome on in, man. Do you play... Whoa. Hold on. There we go. Do you play like any other games than hunting games? Lately about the only other game I play has been Madden 24, but my intention had been to uninstall the game like basically after the Super Bowl because, you know, my football mind is no longer at peak need football content at all times right now. However, they released Heath Miller into the game, who's one of my all-time favorites, so now I need to play the game at least till I get him. But anyway... Um, I mean, over time, I'll play things like Planet Zoo, Farming Sim. I'm trying to think of some of the other games I play. Oh, Pal World. That's a new one that I've been playing a little bit. Pretty fun game. So basically, we did all that, and I don't think we killed that hefty quail that we had the track of. Need Old Man Flinter to hunt quail? Back in my day, I could flink a quail from 400 yards. Now I can't hardly see the darn things. Can you get Cabela's Big Game Hunter on Steam? Uh, not anymore. They... I don't know if they had their complete catalog, but they had a lot of their games um, available in the Steam store, but like five years ago, they took them all off Steam. You can, I think... Uh, like on sites like G2A that have game keys, you can sometimes still find them there, but they're expensive. What's up, crazy crap? Boy, this is this is worse than tracking that raccoon earlier. Back in my day, the only thing old people say according to Flinter. Did you not hear the other words I said? Back in my day is just a convenient excuse for me to figure out what I'm gonna say while it takes me a second and a half to say that. I feel you was grinding Madden 23 in my 98 overall Ultimate Team. I got I didn't get started with Ultimate Team till Madden 12, and I actually don't know when Ultimate Team came out. But the first bunch of years, I was easily able to get my team to 99. And then, like, the last few years I played... I guess it was only, like, four years. Madden 15, I remember I barely got my team to 99 before, like, the next Madden came out. And then I didn't play for... Years. Madden 19 came out on PC. It was the first Madden on PC in like 15 years. So I bought that one and played it a little bit. Not a whole lot. And, um... 24 is the first one I've put any significant time in since... Oh! God! Okay. Are they coming this way or are they going the other way? You have to be kidding me. They control big meal. <laughs> they control, but 
That is what we're here for. And you gotta kill them out of the air. So there's some quail coming back our way. What are the odds that... Boy, he's just flying forever, too. What are the odds he lands and flies back at us? And the thing that sucks, we're just not gonna be able to keep him spotted forever. And once he hits the ground... There we go. He's gonna land. We're gonna have to, like, unspot him, probably? And then we just kind of hope they come back this way. I'm gonna bank on them doing that. Yeah, they're coming back, but where is he? He's gotta be in there. He's gonna back up a little bit. Has to be one of these. Where? <laughs> this is nerve-wracking. I don't like this. That one. Okay. They're not landing yet. None of the other ones are. Got him. Oh boy. If this makes it, this is going to be so dumb. <laughs> like, actually stupid. Fingers crossed. Let's go. It's the gray variant too. I really like the gray variant. 242 is nice. Like, I know it's only four above diamond, but that, like, in quail term, that's a big deal. That's a lot. One pellet in the leg. All right, so who wants to go make a multi mount with a diamond quail and a great one moose? Hi, what is that? What are you landing right beside me for? <laughs> oh, that was a nice one too. Two oh eight. All right, to the trophy lodge we go. How are we gonna successfully do the thing that we came here for in literally an hour and twelve minutes? We killed that at the hour and twelve minute mark. It's just, it never fails. <laughs> 12 somewhere. So now what? Uh, gators, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> a big boy quail for the moose mount? I'm excited because in a way it almost like unlocks more poses for us to put the great one moose in just because, you know, they're special poses for the multi mount. Does this mean Leighton Mosey? I mean, we can go after gators a little bit. Was it the, was it the, um, top of the estimate? It was 242, huh? Bottom boy, thank you for the super chat. Hot. Can't say I disagree there. That was pretty cool. What is it even called? Music to my ears would be the one. So we have... Why isn't the metal there? Didn't they used to show the metal in this screen? I know it's this one, but... Huh. And then... Diamond Quail. This 249 is our other level 3 that we killed back before um, male Diamond Quail existed. So now, on the 12th too, wouldn't that be the way? That's kind of cool. Let's just go through these. I, I did the multi-mount once, but I really don't remember what the poses look like. You know what I appreciate in this? The attention to detail in that the eyes are actually... Where's the quail at? I saw it. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's weird. When I'm zooming in, he's disappearing. Anyway, the eyes are actually, like, focused in on exactly where that quail is. Anyway. Laying it on his nose. On his forehead. Where's the quail in this one? Oh, there it is. On his back? I want... Okay, I thought the quail's beak was open, but the camera zooming in is really messing me up. Is this like sleeping moose or quail killed moose? I kind of think I like that one. I wanted one... It is kind of neat how, like, they they literally have the moose's eyes almost crossing, like, to look at the bridge of its nose and see the quail there. I kind of like that one. But I feel like that doesn't show the Great One's antlers as well. Dude, got a quail hanging for fishing line? You gotta do what you gotta do to make your, uh, <laughs> your trophy lodge succeed. Yeah, I think I like that, because it really does show the, the antlers off the best. Just chilling on his big boy buddy. 
I don't know, I did want it to be... I just, like, you can't see the insane palmation of the antlers. Maybe we could do that. We'll go with that for now. I'll probably end up changing it eventually, but I do think... Ah, dang it. Stupid camera. I do think it's pretty cool having the, the quail in there. So now we have... Great one fallow in a multi-mount. With two diamonds. Great one whitetail in a multi-mount. With two super rares, which is stupidly lucky. Great one moose in a multi-mount with a diamond quail. Great one bear in a multi-mount with a max score diamond. And great one red deer in a multi-mount with a melanistic hind. It's pretty wild when you set out to do something that's supposed to take a long time and then you accomplish it in no time at all. <laughs> I wonder if they can fix that disappearing thing because that's annoying me. But anyway, hot take, I don't like that multi-mount. I wish there would, like, what I want is for it to be perched on the antlers. I see why they can't do that, because if you think about it, every moose that is, that has different antlers, the quail would have to be in a different spot. So I see the problem there. If I could... I do have one idea. I want him here, though. My one thought is, we could do, um... Like that pose, which is probably my favorite one. And then I actually have him on this round platform over here. Because is this, uh, that's massive. What is this platform? Because isn't this also a massive platform? Alright. I'm going to do it. It may not be permanent because I like the moose right inside the door, but my thought is put him here with that pose that I like and then you can actually <laughs> that's actually kind of cool just a row of great one multi mounts and hey, we'll see we might leave it like that now what I didn't do was I didn't look oh boy I didn't look when we made that multi mount with the uh the line is called Breadwinners, so I just gotta scroll till I see, like, a number. That didn't take very long. <laughs> hmm. Might have to do a different pose. That one's not bad right inside the door, though. That works, that shows off all four. I didn't mean to make this a trophy launch stream, but... You can do that and spin it. What do you mean? I missed the reason I put him on that mount was so I could spin it. Or were you saying to spin a different direction? So you're telling me you stream one time in Mississippi and get your quail. Very nice. <laughs> I did do a video like a hunt on Mississippi Saturday and didn't get it. If that, if that makes you feel any better. Holy fallow. Change the bears and red deer to put them in chronological order. Alright, now I gotta go back. I like that. Or you know why you know why I have the bear there though? Because you can see the red deer over top of the bears. You can't Yeah, you can't see the bears over top of the red deer very good. That was why I had him that way. Legacy Okay, yeah, whatever. I'll go back. <laughs> Legacy Red Deer Racks. Now we're doing trophy lodge streams. I can't even remember if this is the right lodge. So how can I get the Cabela's games or is it not possible? You could go to a website like G2A. Um anytime you're going to these sites though that sell Steam keys look at the seller like the reputation stuff make sure they're a reputable seller if the if they're like let's say you have five sellers for uh for cabela's big game hunter and four of them are these are true racks though anyway like, say say four of them are 10 bucks and then the fifth one is two dollars i wouldn't trust that two dollar one here you go Legacy Reindeer Racks. It's the the shovels that made them so special, like the giant shovels. Look at the old Legacy Fallow. 
I thought those were awesome too. Anyway, the tops are not great with the reindeer. They would need to be better if they were to kind of make this into a great one. I thought they were bigger than that, in all honesty. But you get what I'm saying. Like, combine those shovels and these tops on the same frame, and I think you have something pretty darn special. Anyway, for real this time, we'll go back to gator hunting the Mississippi. Been trying hard to get a diamond quill and you do this. I didn't try to, man. I swear. I was just talking about Madden and there he was. <laughs> Hello, the, oh, Ella. After the mellow five-star, Flanter's luck has been crazy. I said to Mel when I found the melanistic uh, fallow. Because, I mean, I'll tell you where he's at right now. He's a two-star adult. I'm really feeling good about where he could end up. Um... But even before he was a two-star adult, just as a one-star, I thought he looked pretty good. And I said to Mel, like, if this thing makes it, people are going to think I'm suddenly hacking. Because I went from not being able to kill any great ones to super rare in Whale Hunter, two great ones in a week. I don't know how rare you consider a diamond quail, but that probably deserves to be on the list somewhere. And potentially another super rare if that, if that fallow makes it. What's next? Well, we're going to go after gators now because I do want a gold rare gator. Uh, we could do... How much time's left? 40 minutes? Alright, I'm gonna let you guys vote, and it... I could set up a poll, but it's just gonna be simpler. You guys can type, uh, one in the chat to stay here on Mississippi and hunt gators. Two, if you'd rather go to Emerald Coast and hunt crocs. You can put crocs or gators on the spot that I want to, and I'd be happy with either one. I want a gold rare of one of them. So, two for crocs, one for gators. Hate the Chiefs. <laughs> Uh, as Mike Florio Pro Football Talk says, if you hate the Chiefs and don't want to see their success, um, you might want to find something different to do on Sundays between September and February, because it's going to continue. Alright, so Soup really wants Crocs. I think to- okay. <laughs> even though- how is Soup even getting that many messages through? I think Crocs are winning, so we can- we can do, uh, we can do Emerald Coast. Chase some crocodilians. I saw a super chat, but it is gone, so I'll have to wait till that comes through the alerts. Go, Mike Florio. I love Mike. Can I? Yeah, I'll do it. So, I said in my football picks channel, um, or on it, in the last video where I picked the Super Bowl, that there's going to be one more video where I explain kind of the... Uh, the why behind me taking the time to pick every single game the entire year and make them in videos. And it was not just to see how good I could do, though that was the main point. Um, the side point was I wanted to basically compete against shows that do it professionally, and I'll get back to that in a second. Danny, thank you for the Super Chat. Reminder, Broncos beat the Super Bowl champion. They did. It means the Broncos are the best team in the league. They'll get a trophy for that, right? R right? That's how it works. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So I wanted to compare how well I picked games against, like, professionals, basically. And here, I'll, I'll tell you even the result. I don't know the playoff results. I haven't looked to see how well they picked their games. But Mike Florio and Chris Sims, they, they were the inspiration for me, like, doing the videos on Thursdays. Because they dropped their video Thursday of their game picks every single week. I had a better record in the regular season than both of them, like actual professionals, by like a game or two. And my point is not to say they don't know what they're talking about. My point is not to say I should be a professional football analyst or anything like that. My point is anybody can pick the, in theory, the favorite or the expected winner and get approximately, say, 65% of the games right. It's who can pick the upsets. And ultimately, I guess the point is Football is an extremely unpredictable sport, and I think on some level my point is betting on football is probably not a good idea, <laughs> and yet I do it anyway. So it's going to be a fun little video where I try to break all that stuff down, and I don't even know how I'm going to display my point. Albino quail incoming? I mean, at least we, we do have an albino stubble quail. Those we have gotten. Just down some wings. My dad made... Uh, they were actually just thighs cut up into like wing size pieces, but my dad made garlic parmesan wings last night. 
you know, not wings, but boneless wings kind of idea. And luckily he sent the rest of them home with us. That's what I have for dinner. Or for lunch, rather. Or dinner, if you want to call it that. Just got trolled by a 1013 level 9 croc. Dang, that's, was that 2? 1015, I think, is diamond? The Stephen A. Smith... Wait, the Stephen A. Show with guest host Flinter. I, if I could do a Stephen A. impression, I would, but... I could just... By the way, uh, not, I actually like Stephen A. I need to make that clear, too. But one of the reasons I really like Mike Florio and Chris Sim show is they don't just scream about stuff. Like, they just actually have conversation without screaming. I don't like a lot of those shows where the entire point is to just yell the entire time. But it would be really funny to, like, <laughs> have that dichotomy. Like, me just, you know, making my picks and then, you know, Stephen A. doing the Stay off the weed! That was actually not bad. Smoked about, good lord, 80 pounds away? Oh, restaurant, duh. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> that is quite the wings, but now I understand. Screaming equals you're more important. If your opinion's louder, it's more correct. That's just simple math. Did I equip the 300? I did. Hey, next shots. Remember how to hunt gators, or crocs. I forgot how to hunt crocs. Oh my god. That was good shooting. What's up, Tux? Uh, best trophy is a super rare max score melanistic croc. That is a pretty darn good best trophy, I gotta say. Politics in a nutshell explained by Flinter. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to break down the really important things in the world. This isn't Mississippi. We literally went to Mississippi for an hour and 12 minutes and killed a diamond quail. <laughs> so we had a vote. It was either keep hunting for gators because I want a gold rare gator or a gold rare croc, just as good. And crocs won, so here we are. Lot equals proud. I gotta get that dang, uh, bums me out. <laughs> Sound alert for Twitch. Oh. I just spotted a two. Pig mail. There was a ton of screaming about the Chiefs being a dud this year, so no screaming doesn't correlate to being right. I'm trying to think of a place where screaming does correlate to being right, but I can't come up with a specific. Was Piebald Pronghorn ever rare? Yeah, I mean, they're they're rare now if that's if that's included in the question. Can male crocs be level one? I don't think so. I think this is a hollow shamer. What rare do you want most? I guess right now a gold rare. Or or do you mean which variant of like rare croc do I want most? If that's the question, probably albino. I think they look really good. Um, that light brown variant is pretty cool, too. Do you have a melanistic red deer? Yes, I think I killed two on the red deer great one grind. One was a six that didn't quite make gold. I do not remember the score of the other one. Small mal. I forgot about the mal emote for big mal. <laughs> Gotta play Elden Ring? Sounds good. You have a level one croc, a male? I see that Mississippi has already given way to the less cluttered environment of Emerald Coast. I mean, you could say that, but it was due to us killing the thing we went to Mississippi Acres for. Pixar didn't happen? What didn't happen? I keep forgetting to go for next shots. I tried to be cool and get a crazy neck shot, but it didn't work. It is a male croc. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Do you... Oh, maybe that's what the picture didn't happen thing was. Do you, by chance, have a screenshot of it? Lucista crocs look so dang good. There's some really good rare croc, like, I guess skins to call it that. I refuse to buy a new Madden every year. They're very similar games, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Sticking with 21 till I can finally at least win against the computer? Are we on like all Madden difficulty? What's the... 
what's the state of things here? Melacrox look fire. Honestly, all there's not a Mela in the game that I think looks bad. But I think Melacrox, Melagators, all the ones that aren't like just a typical fur, they are really cool. All Madden? I've played a lot of humans that are not as good as the All Madden computer. What do I do if my respawns aren't showing up for a whitetail grind? Probably you need to find some other lakes. Um, oh, hey, that was that level two. Oh, well. Um, anyway. What seems, at least to me, to be kind of the key to successful grinds is finding the most consistent respawn lakes. If you have lakes that aren't producing consistent respawns, you probably want to try to look to other lakes you can maybe work on instead. Just need a gold red fox for the going for gold side quest, and I just can't find one. Is that Hirschfelden? Thought you were hunting Mississippi. We were, and then we killed a diamond quail, which was kind of the entire point. So I put it up to uh, a vote in chat. We could either stay on Mississippi and hunt gators, or come to Emerald Coast for crocs. Because it was quail and gold rare gator on Mississippi. Crocodiles can go on the same plaques as gators, and like a gold rare croc would be just as good. It may even be better because we do have one gold rare gator, but I want two. The variety that we could, in theory, add to the lodge by doing um, one gator, one croc is, uh, what's the word, intriguing to me? Ah, that was a bad shot. Not only that, that was kind of dumb because that means that guy's going to flee now. I was going to just kill everything. Should change the title? I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if you can change a title midstream on YouTube and actually have it update. Maybe you can, I mean, I can try. I have no idea what it does. Never played, on, played it online until I get all Madden down to like a 50% chance of what I'm not about to get face rolled. So what you'll run into online anyway is probably just a bunch of cheese. In all honesty, the first game you'll play online might suck, the first two or three, and then they'll figure out where you should be rank wise, and then you'll run into other people that are in a similar skill level. Madden does a decent job of matching you up against opponents of a similar skill rating. There's nothing worse than getting smoked by someone like a real person though in Madden. Got three rare and seven diamond crocs and 600 kills, that ain't bad. Why is there not a gator versus croc multi-mod? Good question. Didn't realize that had a ranking system? Yeah, the, um, and the nice thing too, like, if you were to play like a regular online game, which I'm assuming this is what you're doing in the ultimate team, you wouldn't be up against someone with like a god squad. The worst that could happen is you play someone using the Chiefs. Hey Reels, thank you for the 36 months, welcome back. Just now catching a live stream since you're two great ones, congrats, I know how grinding sucks. It does indeed, uh, it's definitely, it was a long time coming and it was frustrating at, um, I would say many different points, but it worked out. Talk about FIFA, Madden, but you know, similar, same uh, developer, similar approach. Sounds about like my real football experience in high school. First game in 50 years for our school, we won 42 to 13. Next game, we lost 67 to nothing to the best team in the league. Every now and then, there's a, it's a, uh, his name's like Scully or something. I think it's S-C-K-U-L-Y. Every time I run up against him in Ultimate Team head-to-head, -head, which I've probably played him like five times now. I did beat him once, and if I'm not mistaken, that video, like that game is actually one of the ones I used in the football picks, like the background footage, I think. It wasn't even that, like week 14, 15, towards the end of the year. Anyway, he always, like he just kills me. His defense, is, I just can't figure it out. I cannot understand what adjustments he's doing. He runs like a Tampa 2, but he, he like mans up a couple of different players and it just completely messes with my brain. Every time I play against someone like that, then I just... Like if I can't score points, I just feel completely useless. That'll, that'll get me. A what smalls?
Just botched a level 4 Diamond Moose. Oh, that's a bummer. Are there teams that need coaches that would actually benefit from choosing a top tier Madden player over a real coach? So this is a thing you'll see on Madden Twitter all the time. Last night, when the 49ers won the toss in overtime and kicked, sorry, and received, there were, like, every sing- Ow. Every single Madden player on Twitter, or on X, was saying, like, should have kicked. Definitely should have kicked. And the reason is, and actually Andy Reid said this is what they were going to do, the reason is, you kick off, if you hold them to three, you're in a great spot. If they go and score seven, fine. You got to go with the mentality of you're, you're scoring a touchdown and going for two. I return, I has ice cream. Did you bring any to share? Just run with your QB they never expect? I don't know. Sure seems to me every time I run with my QB, I fumble, and then I'll smoke someone else's QB and they don't fumble. Seems rigged. What's up, Jaguar? Whoa, jeez, I almost knocked my drink over. My supervisor and I were watching the live updates last night at work, and at one point the 49ers caught a punt, then didn't move a single yard until they punted it back. They had a couple of drives like that. I think the, maybe in the second quarter, the drive where they intercepted Mahomes, I'm pretty sure the first play was, I can't remember who, whether it was Elijah Mitchell or maybe Debo. They ran some kind of, not a trick play, but it was either a jet sweep or a, like a crack toss or something and lost like six yards. Like they literally picked him off at like midfield and couldn't get a field goal. Like they, they had a couple of drives where they just really oofed. When'd you get your great one, Moose? A week ago today. It was uh, live on stream. Is a black gold wild hog rare? No. Uh, it's weird. Black gold wild boar are rare. Black gold feral pigs and wild hogs are just uncommon. Or maybe even common. Sucks the Jim Harbaugh went to the Chargers? Why is that? What's your least favorite thing to hunt in this game? What is my least favorite thing to hunt? Hmm. Try to look at this and come up with something I just hate. Maybe like whitetail jackrabbits because they don't drink now on Leighton. I need one for the Leighton Trophy Cabin, but... With no drink time anymore? Hey, there's a Mythica. Look, we just came through there. Where was he? Had to be in the water. Anyway, um... It just feels like almost opportunity kills. Just hope I stumble into him. David, thank you for the 43 months, by the way. Welcome back. Getting closer and closer to the quad 12. You are indeed. Won't be long. Or Black Bear. I'm not counting grinding in the same category. If, if we're counting grinding, any sort of grinding, I'm going to hate. <laughs> to be honest. Not that I hated it. Like, in, in reality... Ow. Um... As long as it felt like things were happening... Like, with the bear for the last couple of weeks, I, it always felt like it was gonna happen. Like, we had good respawns and stuff, and then moose... Again, I, I changed up my approach a little bit, killed like 200 moose, and there he was. That part's fine. It's when it just feels like you're just, you know, running into a wall over and over again that I hate it. I love hate mountain goat. Yeah, I get you. I get what you're saying. Grinding for anything or just hunting for fun? Just hunting for fun. We actually killed a uh, diamond quail earlier in this hunt. We were over on Mississippi Acres, so we killed the exact animal I wanted. So he's with our uh, our great one moose now in that multi-mount. That was pretty much the entire point of the stream. Now we are looking for a gold rare croc. And I guess in some ways we're grinding for crocs. I'm just killing every single one I see. If that counts as a grind, then that's what we're doing. How 
How'd you feel about a Nepal map with the wild boar as the next great one? If they wanted to stick with a base game great one, I think that actually makes sense. Wild boar grinding would be interesting. They'd be another night grind. They drink at night. But they're not too bad. Like, they don't run terribly fast. I think if you just used the 300 and just mowed them down, it would, it would be a decent grind. Hello. Uh, where did that go? But why don't Mountain Goat, Chamois, and Springbug drink anymore? So for Mountain Goat and Chamois, the idea is, in real life, they're kind of a challenging hunt. Uh, they want, like, the developers want you to have to trek through the mountains to find them. Instead of just going to, like, you know, three different lakes at the right time and you see a hundred Mountain Goats. Springbug don't actually or don't often go to like ponds and stuff to drink in real life, they actually get all or the vast majority of their hydration through the vegetation they eat. So that's just a realism thing. What's up, Troublemaker? Thank you for the 34 months. Welcome back. Let's get the buzz started to add the ostrich. Hashtag, hashtag ostrich2024, hashtag go chiefs. I can't even say the word hashtag for some reason, especially with ostrich following it. They had them in African Safari, I think. I'm pretty sure I remember shooting them in that game. I kind of think they'd be an okay addition to this game. Why am I reading off a script? Is this the NFL? You know what I thought was really funny? Um, I think... Like, within the last week, it's some kind of big... Like, one of the higher-ups in the NFL, not Roger Goodell, but someone really high up said, like... Yeah, the script is here. We're going to have the first double overtime game in Super Bowl history. They weren't very far away from ending up in double overtime. That would have been... I mean, they'd have never, ever lived down the allegations if that happened. Is that... Am I just meant to say North Carolina? Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you did as well. PJ, I think of the Super Chat. Appreciate you. Uh, favorite animal on weight hunter besides the New Zealand Red Deer? At least favorite animal on the new map, it's probably Sandbar Deer. I really love the look of them. I like the tar a lot, but I'm very quickly finding out like there's just so many of them and it, it seems like a lot of big ones. I, like, in tomorrow's video, we'll see it. I had two three-star adults in the same herd. I didn't even know three-star adult tar existed. But if you want to go like favorite animal... Any map other than New Zealand Red Deer? Caribou for sure. Did, did you remember the ostrich? I thought so. Need Impala. Big agree. Definitely agree. Want an emu on Emerald Coast? It would have been a sore subject because of the great emu war or whatever it was. Do you have a Melanistic Brown Bear? Yeah, we've killed quite a few over the years. I'll admit that I've never killed a rare brown bear on Revan Tuvi. What should I hunt on SRP? Uh, what about Rocky Mountain Oak? What fur your, was your great one? The moose was Fabled Oak. Wait, the hunter needs to make five stars harder to get? I'd be okay if they, like, maybe increased the percentage threshold, threshold for what makes five star. Like, say, right now you can get a five star, uh, Mule deer at like 88, 89%. If they bumped that up to 91 or so, I wouldn't be upset. I don't think they can do too much to make it more difficult and still have the game even be the same game. Like, it, to really make it way harder to get five stars, I think you'd arguably be completely changing the game. Did you quit the angler or did it quit you? I wouldn't say I quit it and I wouldn't say it quit me. I would say I just... The new... Uh, the new map... What the heck is going on today? <laughs> I thought that looked really big. Up to, what, 144? Alright. We'll just go see if we can kill a diamond band tank. Anyway, the Spain map. It's all basically based on flow fishing, and I just don't care for flow fishing at all. Not my favorite way to play. Bruh. This, that's a bra moment if we've had one. Well, the quail may have been a better bra moment, but... 
All right, well, should we try to hard shot him? Let's at least do that. See if we can get him to go alert, face us, hard shot. Big male. Ooh. Wait, have I killed one with a bow yet? I haven't done that. I need to do that. Boy. The thing is... They're nervous. Do I have a tent? I bet I don't. Nah. This has the potential to be so much more annoying because I'm going to go get a bow. But I probably should go get a bow. <laughs> if we got to track him down or whatever, we'll do that. Uh, ba -ba -ba, where's that at? Eggsvenist, am I saying that even close to correctly? Hopefully I got that. Thank you for the super chat. Do you have any tips for a new Cold Wild player like me? I guess I would say a couple of things. One would be... In the early going... I wouldn't worry too much about, like, trying to find trophies, trying to get diamonds, things like that. When you encounter animals, I would say just go for it. Just shoot whatever you can find, try to level up, get that XP. You can get perk points and skill points that are going to make your character basically just better, which is obviously a big deal. And then I would also say in terms of, like, finding animals, just hunt around water. Water is basically the key to the game. Not only do animals obviously drink at water, because where else would they drink, but their feed and rest zones are never very far away. Because of that, I think that's like the most important thing. When I first got started, I'll even say I didn't even care for the game that much. I, I didn't really, I didn't understand it, I couldn't find animals, I didn't grasp a lot of how the game worked, and I just, I didn't know how important water was. So like when I finally figured that out and started find a bunch of stuff, the game became way more fun. I don't really want to use the rangefinder sight, but this could be annoying, so we're going to bring it. Mini fish comps, there you go. Chat must be delayed. It feels delayed to me. Uh, Devin, thanks for becoming a member. Speaking of chat being delayed, I don't even see that in the chat anywhere. It's just not there. Either way, Devin, thanks for becoming a Super Schuster. Welcome, welcome. If you are not in the Discord already, be sure to join that as well. Link will be in the chat, hopefully just shortly, if Nightbot cooperates. There it is. Uh, join up, link up for YouTube, get the member role, take advantage of that good stuff, and enjoy the green name emojis and early access to video releases. Are you live on Twitch? Not right now. I never stream on both platforms. It's... I could, I guess, but I've never felt the need to. Difference between the bleat and the grunt in, call, uh, in Classic? I don't think there is one. I, As I understand it, originally the idea was like maybe the bleat would call in does and bucks and the grunt would only call in bucks, but they abandoned that idea at some stage, so I think there's just both. Got another new member, Isaac, thanks for becoming a Shusty. Good to have you here. I am assuming you just heard the spiel on joining the Discord and all that good stuff. Be sure to do all that, do all that and enjoy the uh, emojis, green name in chat, and early access to videos. I hate that numeric trash. An albino kangaroo level 7 didn't make gold. They're the only species in the game where level 7, assuming they max at 9. Well, actually, I guess that's the only way they can be a 7. Anyway. Only ones where level 7 is not a guaranteed gold. What gun should I use when hunting crocs? I don't have the 300? I mean, whatever you have. Like, the... Obviously, the 44 does a good job. The most powerful gun you have, whether that's the 7 mil, whether that's the 338. Uh, I probably would try to shy away from using, like say the 308 or the 270 or anything like that, but if that's what you got, that will work. What's up, been watching your videos for a while. Well, I appreciate it, man, and thank you for the support. We are, if you missed it, uh, we spotted level five Bantang because we're just having one of those days. Killed a diamond quail earlier, that's the only reason we're on Emerald Coast to begin with. Spotted level five Bantang, and we've had this thing going in our lodge where all the biggest animals in the game uh, bison, water buffalo, cape buffalo. We've killed, ow, a diamond with a bow, except for Bantang. 
because they're a new one. We have... Can level 5 Bantang troll? I don't know if they can. We have a really good chance of killing a diamond right here, right now. Ow, goodness, that's a concussion. But we gotta get him with the bow, so this should be interesting to do on stream. Drilling rifle? Yeah, that'll get the job done. The drilling rifle is actually of the 9.3. Underrated and underappreciated around in this game. Best gun for turkey? Probably the 22. Been watching your vids since Call of the Wild came out. Call of the Wild was 2017. February 2017. It's almost been seven years. Alright, so. How far do we think those Bantang are from where we last saw them? Uh, x -Friends, thank you for the super chat again. Oh. Asking the same question. Best gun for turkeys. Yeah, assuming you just want to kill turkeys... The 22 for sure is the best option. If you're, you know, if you want to hunt them realistically, any of the shotguns with birdshot will get the job done. Is this them? I don't think this is them. I don't recall there being several level threes. But it is the right spot, so we probably at least want to get down here and spot things. 2017 Fat Thumbs? No worries. I do it all the time. Love the drilling rifle I use it on my whitetail grinds. Really, that's cool. That's not something I've heard too many people doing. You know, the wind sucks, so this wouldn't be ideal. But I wouldn't be upset if this was our herd. <laughs> Would sure make life easier if we could just easily get on them like this. Hey, Annie, thank you for the three months. Welcome back. I believe that alert won't pop up on screen, but I appreciate you nonetheless. Is Lugas the way I say that? I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, I've been watching videos for a while. Was curious if you have tried black bro hunting in real life. That's not something I've ever tried. Um, when we were hunting in Tennessee last November, well, I guess two Novembers ago now, there were just black bear everywhere. Had I been bear hunting, I definitely could have harvested my selection of a whole bunch of bears. That particular area, funny enough, only has an archery season, but even yet, I had at least two bears in bow range. So maybe one day I'll go back, you never know. Alright, so I'm relatively confident there's no level 5 Bantang in this herd. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can find his tracks. And then figure out where they went from there. He'll be the only one that goes up to 800 kilo. That one right there. So we have some going that way. I'm going to guess they actually went back this way. That would be my first thought, but we shall see. Do you know the Hunter DD-33? I sure do. Not like super well, but I know. Old. So that feels like probably what we want. And again, the wind is just not quite ideal. Hey, White Raider, thanks for subscribing. How do you not get burned out from playing the Hunter or other similar hunting games? I get, at least for me, like, classic way the Hunter Call of the Wild, they're all so different. I don't think there is any worry about getting burnt out in the sense of, like, well, I'm just hunting again. Like, it's such a different experience from one hunt to the next in each game, I, I don't have to worry about that. As far as, you know, I have, as I'm just jumping here to do this, 6,800 hours in Call of the Wild, I've got 6,000 some in classic. It's just, it's having a goal-oriented approach. Meaning, you know, I for a long time I wanted to get every single diamond in the game, and then we got to that. Wanted to get every great one in the game, now we have that. When new maps come out and when new great ones release, that extends that goal, and we got to spend time trying to get there again. But when I don't have that one specific goal, I mean, literally earlier today, 
we were trying to get a diamond quail to go with our great one moose, and we just got that diamond quail, so now we're moving on to another goal I have of getting a gold rare croc, and instead we're chasing a bantai. But, um, yeah, I think setting goals, and then finding ways to change it up. The game is, uh, your oyster in a way, and, you know, like, change up your loadout, hunt with something different, hunt a different map. That's, that's the way I try to approach it. You'll notice in a lot of videos, I'll randomly just bring different guns, just to, just to have a different experience. It presents different challenges. You know, if I, um, that's probably them. If I decide that I'm going to bring nothing but pistols, like we did on Rancho, that can make for a tough hunt. But if you, if you persevere and sometimes you got to track a pheasant for two hours, <laughs> it's rewarding in the end. Just part of the nine legendary key buffalo. Nice. What do you think way the hunter is more expensive than Call of the Wild? I don't know. Newer game? Probably. You know, games that released in 2017 probably are generally cheaper than games that came out in 22. Any plans for a new Angler video soon? Uh, you know, never say never. I've been thinking about trying to get back into it. I just don't... I don't know what I could offer content-wise in, in an Angler video. I'm really... I'm not great, I think, at <laughs> just playing the game generally. Monster, thank you for subscribing, by the way. And we have Brian as well. Welcome, welcome. So two things. I haven't seen one of his tracks in a minute. All the things. This is why YouTube subscription alerts are weird. Connor, thanks for subscribing as well. They all come through like at the same time. Is this them? Three, three, three. Before I just get up and spook them, um, I'll try to like casually alert them just in case he's like, eh, interesting. In case he had been like right down over the hill, like where this one was. I didn't even see that. Don't think this is the herd either. So maybe we're that next one called down over the hill. Um, uh, Mazer becoming a Shusty as well. Welcome, welcome. If you are not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up YouTube, get the member roll. Take advantage of that good stuff and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat, as well as early access to video uploads. Warthog 2.0? Hey, I mean, it's about 5 o'clock, you never know. The element of the bow in this one. It's not hard for me to imagine this taking a while. How can you disable your dog when you're hunting? Go to the, like, storage locker. There's a kennel section. You can just go into the kennel thing, and then uh, you select the dog that you have active, and then you can just click kennel, and that'll take him away. Hate to be that guy, but what have I missed? Uh, so we killed a diamond quail. So obviously the title is Mississippi. We're on Emerald Coast now. Diamond quail in Mississippi was basically the entire goal. That would be why we are no longer there. And then... We've got a level 5 Bantang somewhere. I can't seem to find him now. <laughs> I wanted to kill him with a bow. I, I have this, um... This hallway in our trophy lodge. That consists of... Basically all the biggest animals in the game. Cape Buffalo, Water Buffalo... Um... Plains and Euro Bison. All killed with a bow. Bantang have been added to the game since we did all that. But we don't have a diamond bantang with a bow, and we've got this chance. So I'm trying to get it. I just don't know where he is. That's his track. So in theory, he's not far away, but in practice, don't know where the heck he's hiding. Did the devs ever reach out to you asking for advice? I wouldn't say for advice. I mean, I've had conversations with the devs in the past. Like, I mean, not like the whole group of devs, but... Usually, by proxy, meaning, say, you know, back in the day, TK would ask me something, like, and it, it would never be like, hey, this is coming out, what do you think? 
that's not how that works. But in the sense of like, hey, you know, early access for this is coming up. Is, you know, does this make sense? Should we do it this way? That sort of stuff. Stuff that... I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't have insider information because a lot of people seem to think I do. I just want to make that clear. But yeah, like, I've had conversations about the way different stuff happens. What bow should I use for my cape? I mean, the Hawk Edge CB70, I would say, is the best bow. Max score for Whitetail? I think 276 is about as big as they get. In theory, there's no uh, maximum score for True Racks, but it does seem they don't really get bigger than 276. Can you do Parquet Fernando grind? What, what kind of grind do you mean? The snake bite. Well, for playing classic, it does not get much better than the snake bite. That thing, it's so underrated. I think the people that use it know it, but like it's so silent and so powerful, and like it's got the single pin, but that's all you really need. First bow I ever had, and it's still so good. They actually made it better than it used to be. Oh boy. Um. I don't like that it just seems like they just trotted away forever. And my concern is if we just start running, if they're over this hill, for instance, with the wind being as it is, we're just gonna spook them. Snick bit. Would literally never use another bow other than your snake bite? Obviously, uh, you know, the flinter bow too, right? Definitely, uh, definitely on the list. Pretty sure that's the best bow in the game. I don't know who told me that. Professional, professional hunter somewhere. Oh. <laughs> not regrinding level 20 skill? Do you not have level 20 with the regular Parker? Because the, the skills carry over. You need a Snickers with all this tracking? I could go for a, a Snickers, I'm not gonna lie. We've been tracking stuff all day. We track. Three max weight quail before we got that diamond. We tracked a max weight raccoon. Uh, now we're tracking this darn bandang, even though he's right in front of us because we had to go and get a bow. Heartbroken when they couldn't put your skin on the snake bite? Yeah, I mean, that was the first thing I thought of, too, because, I, you know, anybody that asks me, they're getting into classic, you know, what bow should I buy? The snake bite is the answer. Had I had the opportunity, the snake bite's 100% what I would have chosen to put the flinter skin on. Just couldn't do it. Will you retire the flinter bow after a thousand kills like the previous bow? Um, no, because like I mean, the cable back bow was a really difficult bow to use. I'll probably go because I think KC has one, Binky has one, and Knocked Up has one. So there's three other bows in the game that I want to get a thousand kills with because I have a thousand kills with every other bow minus the flinter bow too. Haven't gotten there yet, so I'll probably try to do that. But I'll still use the flinter bow like in videos and stuff like that. Favorite deer species? Uh, it's... Are we talking about in game? It's probably still whitetail, but especially in real life, definitely whitetail. Just popped and heard you got a diamond quail. We did. 242 gray variant, which is my favorite of the variants. I do like the red brown too. Thoughts on Super Bowl? I don't think those are going to be the same ones. I thought it was a good game. Um, I appreciated the fact that there was actual defense. Sometimes it feels like, you know, like 38-35 last year. There was next to no defense other than when Jalen Hurts dropped the ball. So I like I, I felt like there was good defense played, not bad offense that made the defenses look good. Ah, dang it. That's not him, though. It would be just like them to be in the worst spot ever, though. Anyway, there was no, like, big egregious call that's the, gonna be the topic of conversation for the next six months. It was a, a good game that came down to last play. What more can you ask for? Do you also think the Mule Deer and Call of the Wild always looked off? Yeah. I don't. I can't place it really. I don't know what it is about them, but I, I do think they look a little weird. There he is. 
Okay, terrible wind, but we know where they are now. How far away? Yeah, we're at like 170. Basically, the best thing to do here is just going to be back way up and just approach from a good wind direction. What are you tracking? Diamond Bantang. Or probably Diamond Bantang. I, I actually don't know if they control or not. That fella right there. Big males always in the thick brush and trees. It's usually that is the case. I, I definitely think we're lucky. We're lucky too because I started running to go and spot that thing. Meanwhile, the actual one that we're after is right down here. We're going to have to get... This is, this is going to take a minute to flank him. I could run. But... If we alert them, even if they don't spook, sometimes they'll just walk away. I'd rather them stay in their zone so we can actually stock into range. <laughs> the OT been putting in? We have, we have had some lengthy streams as of late. At least lengthy for me, but... I rated, uh... Was it, it was named Screwballs, I think, on Twitch. Friday. He was like 12 hours into his stream, and that was one of the first things somebody said, like, goodness, 12 hours? He goes, oh, that's nothing. Good lord, I couldn't do that every day. Recently started a Call of the Wild slash classic YouTube channel. Any tips? Um, who was, was it Prime? This wasn't in relation to uh, a YouTube channel. It was in relation to coaching and stuff. But I was watching somebody on Radio Row at the Super Bowl recently, and they... They made a point that I thought was very um, relevant to to YouTube and stuff as well. And that was just do what you enjoy. Like, do what you love doing because that's going to translate through. Like, you know who I think it was? was uh, Chris Berman. If you're enjoying it, if you're having fun, that's going to translate to the viewers and they're going to enjoy it. And I think trying to find a niche that maybe no one else is doing. When I got started doing this, nobody was making, like, daily the hunter classic or the hunter call the wild content in a let's play format most of the content back then was either trophy montages or you know hey i found a 187 whitetail here's a video of it stuff like that so the let's play approach was something that wasn't being done so that's that was like the niche i tried to fill so i would say a combination of like trying to be yourself and looking to like make content that you would want to see that isn't out there right now Fun is infectious, that is for sure. Haven't been able to make a stream in a while. How's it going? Today's been a pretty darn good one. We killed a diamond quail. Now we're stocking up on this guy, trying to get him with the bow. And this will probably be the last kill, because it's actually past 5 o'clock already. But basically, if you don't know, I've got a hallway into my trophy lodge. That basically consists of all the biggest animals in the game. Buffalo, bison, that stuff. All taken with the bow. We don't have a bantang in there. If we can make this shot, and if this guy makes diamond, we can rectify that right now. Not literally right now, but in a couple of minutes. Would you play Hunting Sim 2 again? If they release a new map or something, probably. The I, I've talked about it before, and I, I'm i not saying I'm the only one that did Hunting Sim 2 content, but I, I think I gave Hunting Sim 2 probably more of a chance than a lot of creators did. And all I'm saying with that is, I saw potential in Hunting Sim 2. I think the way, like, the the weapon models and the clothing models, the way they did the dog, I think the dog could have been more important to the game, but all that stuff I thought they did really good. The weapon system, where, like, you choose the model of the gun and then you can choose the caliber. So, like, Call of the Wild has gun customization now, so that's kind of a similar way of doing it, or sorry, a different way of doing the same thing. But if you really love the look of, say, the 270 Warden back in the day in Call of the Wild, but you wanted it in 300 for your moose hunts or whatever, you couldn't do that. I love the way Hunting Sim 2 did that. So I I did a good bit of Hunting Sim 2 content. But you can only look at the animals that don't really look like real animals so many times before it just gets boring. They left the game so incomplete. I kind of agree. I don't know when you'll start streaming. Uh, if you're in my Discord, I always tag everyone in announcements when I start a stream. So there's that. Um, and I, I stream other than like some rare occasions when I'll like add an extra stream during the week. I stream the same days and times every single week. Dream gunner bow in real life? I don't really have one. 
Like, I'm not a big... You know, I don't have a dream truck or car or anything like that. I want something that's going to do the job reliably every time. My thing about it is I enjoy the legendary animals. I got one legendary and that was enough for me. I, um, not that I need to justify it, you know. I'm not trying to say that I'm right, you're wrong kind of thing. But, um... Yeah, it's... I get why. If I if I could get more joy out of it, I also would try to hunt for all the legendaries. I think the legendary bison's really cool. I just can't bring myself to do it. Do you want to know how to get a legendary? I think you just gotta shoot a bunch of the same animal, basically, and then you start... Like, you can essentially reset till one shows up. No, you're wrong. I'm right. Well... Yeah, I don't know what to say to that. I much more love your streams when you're hunting some random species and maps rather than just grinding. It's been a while since we've gotten to do it, but I, I, I really have enjoyed this one. Nathan, thank you for subscribing, by the way. I'll tell you what, too. Um, moose and bear streams, at least since we got back to this, like around last December, end of December, I don't think we ever had a stream where we killed two diamonds. Um, one diamond happened a few times. If this Bantang makes it, this could be two diamonds in the same stream. Whoop, you see nothing. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I heard them moving and I thought they were leaving. They are not. I'm going to use the single pin. Ah, God, wrong button. So what I'm trying to do is slow crawl and I'm getting confused between Way the Hunter and Call of Wild and clicking all the wrong things. Uh, will there be any way the hunter this stream or just call the wild? Just call the wild. We're actually, uh, assuming we can kill this Bantang quickly and effectively, we're minutes away from this stream being over. We are 12 minutes past the normal ending time, but we had this level 5 Bantang and we're trying to get him with the bow. Now it sounds like they're actually moving. Yep. Okay, calm though. Excuse me, sir. How far is he actually? Before we just... Hey, get back here. Before we straight up alert him. It's 30. Oh, he went back to eating? What? Okay, alert. Just stand still. That should work. He's aggressive in case it didn't, but... I got him. Well, that was not what I thought was going to happen, but... Probably not terribly far from heart shot him. You want some too? You didn't see what just happened? It doesn't go well for your kind. No. Bantang, I do not choose you. Uh, Eggs Venice, thank you for the super chat again, by the way. Before we go and claim that, hope you had a good day. I definitely did. This this has been a really fun stream to for the first time in a while. Play the game and actually not grind. Cash, by the way, thank you for subscribing. The Schwack. It's a sound we don't get to hear on too many streams these days. Although we did hear it last stream with the moose, too. Cool. 139. So he makes diamond by about three, because he's almost 140. <laughs> the mere fact that he didn't drop. Double lung, liver, stomach, intestine. And he's still... Do we, we did get the full quick kill, but... Sheesh. Have you ever wondered if bows are still OP in this game? They certainly can be. Alright, so now we get to go back to Trophy Lodge again. Place that guy in our hallway of big males and... Or big males taken with a bow, even. And then we'll wrap this stream up. Marshawn Clark in here, just here so we don't get fined. Yay, cow hunting. <laughs> you want something, bruv? I'll mess you up in it. Uh, sorry, I was getting here because I missed anything other than that diamond. We also had your bear. Oh, I moved things now. You're barely going to be able to see it. Especially because this camera wigs it out. But right, uh. See that on top of the moose? Got ourselves a little diamond quail. 
And now this is the hallway. So I've got two diamond elk in here. We're going to take one of them down. 484 and 494. That's an easy choice. Bantan goes here. So everything in this hallway, including the goose at 140 some meters and including both antelope jackrabbits, were killed with this right here, the hawk edge. Kind of cool. That makes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things in the hallway. And other than two antelope jackrabbit, all different species. So we still, and this can be one of our kind of new goals to work for, is we still need a Truex, Euro Bison, and Plains Bison with the bow. That'll be something to try to get in the future. But I like it. Not too bad. I like what we got going on with the lodge now too. I definitely, because what you can do, and I'll show you what I mean. How many hours away the hunter? Like almost exactly 600. From here, although you can't see him incredibly well, every single great one the second you open the door is visible. Even if it's just the antlers of the red deer over top of the bear. Not bad. Two good diamonds in one stream. Dude, a quail and a bantang. <laughs> Definitely can't complain. Quail are one of the tougher diamonds to get, and we got it in single player on Mississippi of all things. Sometimes just the right decision is made, and the right decision was to go to Mississippi single player today. Because we got ourselves a diamond quail. Who knows how many multiplayer hunts we could have done, and how many max estimate quail tracks we could have picked up. And the entire time, had we just gone to single player for an hour, it took an hour and 12 minutes, we could have gotten a diamond quail like that. Gage, thank you for subscribing, by the way. How many hours in Call of the Wild? 6,800. Why are you still alive? Because I'm not dead yet. The quail on his head, you like that? <laughs> But we are actually, on that note, going to wrap up the stream. How far in the stream was the quail? Quite literally an hour and 12 minutes. Um, I think I harvested him an hour, 12 minutes, and 30 seconds, so it may have been an hour and 10 minutes when we spotted him, something like that. Did the bison get population resets with the new horns? Yes, I think. They, they must have. But anyway, maybe I'll, I'll frame this up better with our great one, moose and quail, rather than just stand in the middle of the lodge. That is, in fact, going to do it for this one. So I think uh, back to a fairly normal schedule this week. Probably weigh the Hunter stream on Friday over on Twitch. Obviously, the Classic stream will be Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, as it always is. And that is going to do it for this one. So as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I shall see you in tomorrow's video back in Way the Hunter on Matsuriki Park. Bye!